Shabbat Shalom. In this week's Torah portion, Parashat Shlach, we see how 12 tribes comes back from the land of Israel with a bad report. Two of them said the truth about the land and they said the land is good. Ten of them said the land is bad. There is no, there is big giants. There is no life there. It's, it's, it's not the land for us. The question is, why the ten tribes didn't say the truth about the land. Well, the sages are saying that the life in the desert were very comfortable. There was man from the heaven, which tasted really, really delicious. Any type of things you think about it that you want to taste it, all you need to do is to think about it and you will be in your mouth. That the taste that you wanted. The water of the, 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 the well of Miriam, same thing. It was delicious water. Anything you want to, the taste to be, that's what it was. The clouds, the clouds of Ananiah Kavod. It was. It says that clouds was always on top of the of the Jewish people. They didn't even need to go to launder their clothing. So basically, the life in desert was absolutely like in heaven. All you need to do is just sit and learn Torah, and that's what they wanted. They did not want to go to Eretz Israel, to the land of Israel, to go and be involved with the physical world. They want to just sit and learn Torah with their life of comfort. But the Chachamim said, that's not what Hashem wanted. Hashem wants us to go to actual physicality, to physical land, and to change it, to make a physical world into a spiritual. There's an interesting story, how there was once ki a king who didn't have any children, and he made a competition. He said, I want to distribute to everybody a dirt from my kingdom. A dirt. And anyone who will be able to produce, to plant a flower, and whoever's flower will grow and be the most beautiful flower, he will be the winner. But with one condition, you are not allowed to change the dirt. You have to use my dirt that I gave you. And guess what? There's tons of people from the beginning of the country till the end came to get a piece of dirt from the kingdom, from the king's palace and to produce the nice, beautiful plant and to get the, the present, I mean, to, to get the, the whole kingdom. So there was one, one, one boy who also came and also got the dirt and he came home and everybody started working on their assignment to produce this beautiful flower. So the boy also started pouring the water every single day. He's pouring, nothing is growing. He's pouring, nothing is growing. Everybody's beautiful, getting their beautiful flower. Somebody got this tall, somebody got this nice smell, somebody got nice, nice color. But the boy doesn't get, nothing is coming out, not even like a, a little inch. He's dancing to this flower. He's singing to this flower. He's putting it under the sun, under the rain. He's trying everything possible, but nothing is growing. So the boy started like crying. But it's too late. The day of the competition came and the king called up everybody. Everybody came in with the beautiful buckets, one so tall, one so nice. And the king is going, wow, so beautiful. Wow, amazing. Wow, tremendously beautiful. Everybody is giving such a beautiful uh, compliment until he came to the last bucket. And the boy is standing with his head like this. And he said, where is your flower? And the boy said, Unfortunately, nothing grew in my bucket. And the king said, Ladies and gentlemen, I want to announce the winner. The winner is this little boy. You know why? Because I gave all of you the dirt that's unfertile. It's impossible to produce any kind of flower with that dirt that I gave you. And you all went home and you changed. You changed to a different dirt in order to get the flower to grow. But this boy was honest and he stood with my, with my request. He didn't change. And that's why he is the winner. Same in our Parsha. Kalev ben Yifune and Yeshua ben Nun were the two winners who stood with the truth who said that the land is good. And they were the ones that went inside Eretz Israel. They were the ones who were the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, truth breaks through any barriers. When you say the truth, Hashem gives you all the blessing, material and spiritual. Shabbat Shalom.